The U.S. Navy chief has warned China that the hostile behavior of its Coast Guard and fishing vessels will not be treated differently from the Chinese Navy. In an interview with FT, Admiral John Richardson said he told Chinese Vice Admiral Shen Jinlong in January that Washington would respond to aggressive actions by non-Navy vessels as was the case with the People's Liberation Army Navy. That's because non-Naval vessels have been used to help Beijing risk its claims in the disputed South China Sea. Rear Admiral John Richardson said. I made it very clear that the U.S. Navy will not be forced and will continue to carry out routine and legal operations throughout the world. Warning from the U.S. Navy came when China increasingly relied on its Coast Guards and maritime militiamen, or maritime industry workers who were trained with their Navy, to expand its military presence in the region. According to the 2018 report from the Pentagon, the Beijing militia in Beijing was the only one in the world to have been sanctioned by the government and that played a major role in coercive activities to achieve China's political goals without fighting. Quotation mark. Non-naval vessels reportedly chased and fired water cannons at fishing vessels from Vietnam and the Philippines. China has disputed territorial claims in the South China Sea with Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia, the Philippines and Brunei. While the conflict remains unresolved, the waterway has emerged as a flashpoint in U.S.-China relations in recent years. The U.S. military said that two of its naval warships sailed through the Taiwan Strait, which separates mainland China from the island of Taiwan. Beijing regards Taiwan as a rebel province under the One China policy, and opposes other countries pursuing diplomatic relations with the self-governing island. The U.S. Navy and the Navy of the People's Liberation Army did not immediately respond to requests for CNBC comments.